welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. Today I am going to be showing you my latest Barbie hauls and pickups that I've picked up over uh, June and the beginning of July. So recently I've got back into Barbie collecting and browsing for Barbies in stores. For a long time I sort of felt that Barbies had changed from what I remember them as and from how I liked them and the things that I liked about them but recently I found that there's been a few Barbies that are really cool and um, pretty and I think kids would really like them these days and you know they've appealed to me again so I'm addicted to collecting and I've bought heaps over a short amount of time and I think it's something that I'm going to keep doing for a little bit as well because I've really enjoyed getting back into it and seeing what Barbies are out there so I will show you what I've picked up. So the first Barbies that I picked up were from the Barbie colour reveal range. So in Australia we never got the series one of them. So we've only got the series that's the, I think it's sweet and savoury. It's got a picture of a popcorn and then a popsicle. So we got those ones and they were very hard to get here. So I looked around lots of different stores and areas and that sort of thing. And I eventually found them in Toy Mate, which is sort of what replaced Toys R Us here and I grabbed two at the time. So I was lucky enough that both of the ones that I did were different. So I didn't get the same one, which I was a bit worried about. So I made a video showing the process of the color reveals and how I do them. So I'll just show you the ones that I actually got. So the first one I got is the, the pizza girl from the color reveal. So she has the blonde and blue hair and a pizza skirt and a molded top that has the pizza slice on it and then she's got gold boots which are really cool. These Barbies are the, the sort of hollow type that seem to be the new norm for Barbie. When I grew up they were the more malleable plastic type ones but she's nice. I think it was practical to have the molded shirt to make it easier for the colour reveals and also when you take off her hair she has molded hair underneath. Oops. Gosh, there we go. And they develop streaks as well when you let them dry. You can put a bit of cold water on them and that happens. So the second colour reveal that I got was the Popsicle Girl. So I thought it was cool that I actually got um, a savoury and a sweet out of the two that I got. Her hair's a little bit longer and it's pink and green. Her outfit has a Popsicle with a smiley face on it and a normal Popsicle and then her skirt is white with all different popsicles on it and then she's got bright pink shoes which are really cute. I'm really enjoying the new types of shoes that Barbie have put out. They come off really easily and they're really cool and quite stylish as well. Um, with this one I find her wig looks a little bit weird on her head. It's a little bit bulky, doesn't sit as well as the other one but I think it's a cool idea. I like that they have Barbies with wigs. I think it's a little bit of a throwback to the early Barbies in the 60s where you could get wigs and you could change them up. Same with the other one. This one has molded hair which is white with pink streaks which is cool. I really like this one. I also like that similar to the Fashionistas and those type of Barbies they have them looking a little bit different so I think this is meant to be just like the original Barbie and then this one here as you can see she's a little bit uh, lighter skin she's got green eyes and they look different when you put them side to side, which I think is pretty cool. So my thoughts on the color reveals, I really like them. They're fun. It's something different to Barbie. And I think it's made Barbies a little bit more popular again, which is what they needed. So the next Barbie that I got is from the Barbie I Can Be range. And I'd seen a lot of people talking about her and I really wanted her for myself. So I got the pop star Barbie. What drew me to her was actually her purple hair because the Barbies that I knew and I grew up with were just the plain hairs, like brown and blonde and black and that sort of thing. But I thought the purple was really cool. She's also a little bit tan with brown eyes and she's got a really cool outfit. So it's a really sparkly top and then a like holographic skirt and she's got these cool purple shoes that match her hair. I like her pose and I like that she's uh, looking off to the distance so she looks a little bit different. She also came with a microphone stand and the microphone actually also comes off 
So she can, you can pose her with the microphone, you can put the microphone in her hand, you can do a variety of different things with her. So I really am happy with this one. None of the other I Can Be Barbies really have grabbed me yet, but I'm going to keep my eye out and see if there's any more because I would like to get a few more of them and see, add them to my collection. So the next Barbie I got is from the new Barbie movie that hasn't come out yet, The Princess Adventure. So I never got any of the Barbies from the movies, which is something I sort of regret now that I'm a bit older. So I managed to get this, this Barbie and she was a great price, $15 Australian from Kmart, which I thought was great. What I like about her is a few of the newer Barbies have molded tops, especially I've heard some of the movie Barbies have that. So this one actually has separate clothes and I like that she has a little fluffy jacket and her tiara. She's got a nice outfit. It's a bit atypical to the normal princess outfits, a bit more modern. She also comes with a few accessories like sunglasses and a necklace and a different pair of shoes that you can change her into. So I like that you get options with this one. I also like on the back how they show you the other ones that you can get. So if you wanted, you could get the whole collection, but I think for now, I'm just gonna grab this one. She's really nice. I can't wait to unbox her and put her with my other Barbies. So the next Barbie I got, I've actually been on the hunt for for a long time. So I remember seeing her in shops everywhere and then suddenly she was disappeared. And I looked online for her and she was quite expensive, but it was the rainbow sparkle hair Barbie. Now I think she is so cool because she's got this long colorful hair. She has a brush, hair accessories, glitter. Her outfit's cool, she's in a cool pose. I just think there are so many cool things about this Barbie. Uh, she was similar to the very first Barbie I had when I was four years old, which was the Barbie glitter hair. I think that was, yeah, the glitter hair Barbie. And it's a similar thing. It came with some glitter glue that you can put in the hair and wash out. So this was very nostalgic to me and I thought, she was also very cool. I know you can also get the big one of her so that you can play with her. Um, if you're a kid, it would be like having a life-size Barbie with you. On the back, it also shows all the different ways that you could style her hair and cool ideas and how to use the glitter and that sort of thing. But I'm really happy with her. I'm really glad that I eventually got my hands on her and didn't have to pay for too much. So I'm really happy to have this one in my collection and I can't wait to get her out of the box and comb her hair and play with her because she's really beautiful and a really special Barbie. So finally, I've been collecting again, well, for the first time, the Barbie Fashionistas line. So I never was a fan of them when they first came out. I thought it was just a way that Mattel was going to make heaps of different Barbies. But then when I saw how diverse they were and how many different types of Barbies and hens they brought out all the time, I wanted in and now I want to collect them all. So I started with this one. She's number 151. She's got pink hair, which drew me to her straight away. She's plus size and she has a cute little outfit on, cute shoes. And I really like what she's wearing. And so on the back, I noticed they have the list of all the different fashionistas and the different ones. I really, really want the redhead one. So I think she's cool. And I think that would match me with my red hair. So I got her and I also got two more. So I saw a lot of people about this Ken. So he's very cool. He's got long hair. He's got a tie dye shirt and shorts. He looks different to how we know Ken and the different Kens that you can get usually. As well on the back, it shows all, there's all different ones. And what I love about this line is there's short Barbies, there's tall Barbies, there's different sizes, different shapes. There's Barbies in wheelchairs. There's Barbies with prosthetics. Um, there's different Barbies so that lots of people can relate to them and they're not just the stereotypical blonde hair tanned Barbie that we're used to seeing. Um, I also, this is the last one I got. It was number 123 and she's got the braids in her hair and she's a little bit taller as well. So I thought she was so cool. I wanted my hands on her. So I got that one. I love her outfit. I love her skirt, how it's that paint and red leather. And I love how she's got the little purple boots. They're kind of similar to the boots that you could get um, on the Barbies when I was younger. So I really love her and I'm hoping to get a few more of them at Big W this month. They've had them for $10. So I'm hoping to get back there before the toy sale ends and buy a few more. They didn't have many, but they had a few different ones left. So 
I might have to go and pick some more up. So that's all of the Barbies that I've picked up over June and July. I think it's becoming a new addiction and I think I will definitely be picking up a lot more in the future, probably in the very near future. But thank you so much for watching. As always, please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And if you'd like to see some photos of what I get up to, you can also have a look on my Instagram at Big Kid Monica. But I hope you all stay safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Bye!